Excuse me, yeah. this is the cathedral, right? Yeah. I'm lost, can you help me? I'm looking for the archaeological museum. Sure. The cathedral will help you! Here we are, here you can see the archaeological museum and the amphitheater. It's amazing! The archaeological museum has a lot of Etruscan objects. Let's have a look. Here you can see the ancient Roman amphitheater and on its remains there is the archaeological museum where you can admire Etruscan and Roman objects. The goldsmith tradition has been throughout our so long history and it has made the city famous all over the world. And the most important symbol of this craftsmanship is the chimera. Piazza Grande is the heart of the city. It has a trapezoid shape and a strongly sloping surface. During the Middle Ages, it used to us the market, whereas nowadays it is the stage of the antique fair and of many other events. In August and in September, here in Piazza Grande, takes place the Just of Saracen, that is an ancient game going back to the Middle Ages, revived in 1931 as a reenaction of history. Palazzo de Priori, now a mondo that has brought a beautiful tower with a clock. We are going to climb up to the top to appreciate the amazing view of some important historical sites. Now we are on the top of the tower of the town hall. From here we can see a wonderful view of Arezzo and we can see the, the Prato where there is the monument of Petrarca who is facing his house. Now we are in the biggest park of Arezzo, called Prato, and here there is uh, the monuments of uh, the famous poet Petrarch. This is the fortress that was built in 1538 by Cosimo de' Medici as a military defense fortress. It has been recently restored and it has gained its original beauty. We are now in San Francesco Square, the center of nightlife for young people. It's our favorite square for two main reasons. Firstly, for the Church of San Francesco that goes back to the 13th century. Visitors from all over the world are attracted by the fascinating scenes of the legend of the true cross painted by Piero della Francesca on the walls of the chapel. This famous uh, cycle of frescoes is one of the most important uh, works of the Italian Renaissance painting. Uh, secondly, uh, Café dei Costanti, an historical cafe where Benigni's film La Vita è Bella was shot. That's one of the most famous scenes of Benigni's film uh, called La Vita è Bella uh, that was set here in Arezzo. Uh, this film won also an Oscar and it is uh, a mixture of uh, tragic and comic elements. And the Oscar goes to... Natali Benigni, but also Peraccioni, chooses Sarezzo to set a film. This is a scene from Leonardo Peraccioni's movie, Un Fantastico Via Vai. This scene, he tells them that when he and his friends were as young as them, they ran away from the restaurant to avoid paying the bill. 